Write the pair of parametric equations in rectangular form. Well, rectangular form is y equals stuff. So what I really need to do is I need to replace t with x's. Well, how do I do that? Take this guy and solve it for t. So if I have x equals negative 2t minus 3, my first step is to add 3, add 3, cross you out. These don't combine. So x plus 3 equals negative 2t. Divide everything by negative 2, divide everything by negative 2, divide everything by negative 2. And now t, and I'll write this out a little bit prettier, is going to be negative 1 half x minus 3 over 2. So to make it rectangular, I'm going to replace every t with that guy right there. So a little bit of foiling is going to happen, but that's all right. We have fun here. y equals 2 times negative 1 half x minus 3 over 2. Uh, it's going to be squared, so why don't I just do the FOIL thing while I'm at it? Plus 2 times negative 1 half x minus 3 over 2 minus 5 over 2. Okay, let's FOIL this out. So 2 is just living. Okay. Negative a half times negative a half is positive a fourth x squared. Okay. Negative times a negative is a positive. Okay. A half times three halves is three quarters. So plus three quarters, that's going to be the same. So plus three quarters plus three quarters is three halves. So plus three halves x. And then you are going to become plus nine quarters. So let's scooch this over. So that's minus X. That's minus three, minus five over two. All right you're going to equal half an x squared plus 3x plus 9 over 2 minus x. These guys do combine to make, let me see, you would be 6 over 2, so negative 11 over 2. Okay, nothing happens with 1 half x squared. 3x minus x is 2x, and you become 9 over 2 minus 11 over 2 is negative 2 over 2, or minus 1. So there you go. That's what it is. y equals that. Not the prettiest thing in the world, not the most fun in the world, but we did it.